Hello everybody, it's Janet from Another Planet back again, subbing in for Elisa, adding to your options on how to cook chili. So Lisa has on cooking, cutting up and keeping it real on the Facebook page, she has a couple of different variations on chili. One is a hot dog chili, uh, the other I think is her mother's recipe, but you can search that up in the Facebook search bar at the top by typing in cooking, cutting up chili and you'll get to a couple of different videos on how she's done her recipe. Today I'm getting chili ready to freeze to take for lunch and I started in all uh, good to go with a hamburger version, my typical version, and my hamburger wasn't uh, there. So I just went with what I had, which was some a couple of frozen boneless skinless chicken breasts. I parboiled those in water and I added in some of what I had in the fridge, whatever that might have been for vegetables. So in my situation, it was carrots and three different colors of bell peppers, red, orange, and yellow. And also in there are, is some celery. So I, as the chicken cooked, I was able to go at it with a knife and fork and rip it into a little shreds of chicken. And that's what I'm going to use. So uh, that I cooked in one pot. And I guess it'll be a super low fat version. My freezer is gonna start to fill up now with by the time I've got my split green split pea soup and my corn chowder, which is on the go in the crock pot back there. And now this, and then I think I'm gonna do that chicken taco soup as well. So I also had done up, just to caramelize a bit, some onions, garlic, and I had maybe one or two mushrooms in the fridge. So that's going in. And that was done up in some olive oil. And then everything else is canned. I'd be interested in knowing whether or not you make a version of chili without using any canned food. Uh, so I've got some low salt uh, diced tomatoes. It's nice if you have your own from the garden, but that's what I've got. I have to make it creamy, a can of tomato soup. And again, I'm, this is a light version. I always put more than one kind of beans in. So this one is a maple um, white style beans. And, and then I put kidney beans in. Now I noticed that lots of people rinse their they're kidney beans. I've never done that. I've always, I guess they'd be less gassy or something, but I've always just used the juice. So maybe you can tell me about what you think about that in your comments down below. All right, so that is my mixture, which has got the pot about three quarters full. And the only thing that I put in for spice because you know usually those canned foods have a fair amount of sodium even when I use some of them that are low salt um, is the chili powder so I usually start off by just putting a couple of heaping teaspoons in and then as it cooks it gets hotter so I taste it and see what I think so there's one there's two so that will cook on low for a little while. Just really, there's nothing in there that's raw, so it's really just about getting the flavors to all mix together. And then I will have the task of putting away my various meals, labeling them and lining them all up and having them ready to grab every morning for school. So I hope everyone's doing well, and it's great to see you on here. Have a great evening. Bye-bye.